Hey everybody, hello, hello. It's Stacy here. Um, I'm glad y'all are here. Uh, let me plug in the big light and uh, we'll get started. I've decided to do, I've been working on a um, traditional acrylic painting, which you won't ever see me do a video on because uh, I don't, I take forever and I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I, I may post, um, I'll show you what I did when I'm done with it, but I don't um, know enough about it really uh, to do a video on it. I, I just kind of wing it and um, I'm working on it. If, you know, I get better, maybe one day I'll post a video about it. But for now, I'll just show you what I've done um, when it's resined and finished. It's a beach scene, and um, it's for a friend of mine. And um, she just recently lost her husband, and they love going to the beach together, and she wanted me to do a beach scene. I gave her a, a stained glass beach picture, um, but she wants a painting too, so I'm working on that. And that's taken a lot of the time today. Um, it takes a lot longer to do, which is probably what I don't, why I don't care for it as much. It's not, it doesn't have the immediate gratification thing that this does, so, um, it's harder for me. Um, but anyway, um, in addition, um, or since I've been doing that, I decided I want to do a regular flip cup, you know, and I've had these colors in my mind for well overnight, I guess, and so uh, I thought we'd see what happened. Plus, I tried to prop this thing up. I want to see how unlevel it still is, because I'm sure it's still unlevel, but I did stick something underneath it on this side, hoping it would get better. So let's see. Let's see how bad it is. Should be somewhat better. Um, these colors are ultramarine blue, um, Sky Blue, both by Master's Touch, Vermilion by Master's Touch, Primary Red by Master's Touch, and a Metallic Gray by Artist Loft. I believe that's Artist Loft. It could be Liquitex. I'm not sure. And, um... I just, for some reason, was thinking these colors would be pretty together, and so I wanted to see. Look at those big old air bubbles. Ooh, I think I popped those. All right. Well, we've already got some pretty neat looking cells. It's a good sign. And it's not running off the canvas like it usually does. Look at that, it stopped. It didn't run all the way off that side. I know I've got it propped up pretty good. I still think it could probably use to be propped up again on that left side, but that's better than it has been. One step closer. That's the problem with that propping up. You gotta find something that you can put under there that'll fit and prop it up just as much as you want it to be, not too much, you know. And, um, so, I stuck a carton from some, um, they were from some little stones that I got, um, to embellish stuff with, and I just used the container, and I'll prop that up with, with that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this side while we're at it. I have a lot of paint on the canvas, as usual. But you don't know what I feel about that. I like to have too much rather than not enough. I mean, well, it's, it's more than that. I like to have enough that I can choose what I want to pour off and what I want to keep. Um, I don't like to have to keep everything um, because I don't have enough paint. Oh, that's pretty. Um, now let's see. Now we have to, 
do the hard part, which is figuring out where to pour it off, because I gotta pour some off. Um, I like all of this. I think I can pour some off right there and it won't change too much. I just don't want it to craze. I had a couple of things, ugh, go away bug. I had a couple of things craze the other day and it just makes me sick. You know, it's just, it's a, such a waste. And then you have to redo those things. Um, it's so aggravating. These are really pretty colors together. I like that. I like what it's doing. I pour a little bit more off. I pour off that end over there because I don't think it'll change too much. I like that kidney looking cell right there though. I don't want to lose that. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't want to lose that. I like that cell. I'll pour some off this end over here if I can. And keep the kidney cell. No, no, no. Don't go away. Don't want to lose that. I like that. And I like this big blue area over here to the side. I don't really don't like big spaces of one color, but that's pretty cool. It's really pretty. And there's another organ looking cell down here. It looks like an intestine. <laughs> Sorry y'all, but it does. Don't want to lose it either. All right, let's pour back up and I really like this painting. It's um, very unusual. Really pretty. That looks like a bird right here. That looks like a falcon head. Um, I'm going to pour just a little bit off of that side just because I need to a little bit off and I've got looks like a good bit there oops I can still have my big blue area uh, we're watching the Lord of the Rings in there it's funny it doesn't matter how many times I see those shows I still like them still interesting and I watched them with my first child and he's 22 now I'm like 20 21 and now I'm watching them with my little one and he's nine okay I'm done pouring things off I'm just gonna leave it like that I like that that's really pretty okay time to torch uh, get dry enough that I can pick it up. It's got some interesting cells already. I like the the cells and I like um, colors and they turn out just like I hoped they would.
So this is my first video today because I've been working on that. Well, they came over here and we had lunch. And then, um, then they left and I've been working on her painting ever since. Because when I get a chance to do something for other people, I kind of make that a priority and I like to get started right away and don't make them wait very long. I'm giving her friend process so I won't make much money on it, but that's not why I do it. It's a good thing that's not why I do it, because <laughs> I don't make very much. I don't charge very much. Um, if people want, are in their lives, I like to be able to see that they get it. If I can have anything to do with that, I try to, try to make it affordable for them. And that's served me well. I have a real good friend now that was a poor little college girl that came to my booth at the farmer's market and she kept coming back and coming back and just looking and um, I discounted something for her and she became a really good friend of mine. You know, you never know. Um, we're being gracious is gonna get you. I got a good friend out of it. I love that piece. I think that's really uh, pretty. Let's see if we can fix the phone so we can see good. Uh, that's pretty in there. Some of these cute little red and blue ones up there. Those are cute. Love that section. I'm trying to get my hand out of the way. So it doesn't make a shadow. And these are all just paint uh, except the vermilion has got some pigment in it. Um, I just used what I was using um, with the beach thing and I had some vermilion left over from that. So. I think I can't decide where my favorite part is on this one. I like that, and I like this. And I love these little red cells up here at the top. I don't know. Okay, well, thank y'all for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Um, I will probably do another painting tonight, but if not, tomorrow, because I do, I do have videos out every day. You can count on it, because um, I make them every day, so... Um, I'll have another one, um, either later tonight or in the morning, so y'all tune in and, uh, help me support my channel. I'm trying to grow it. I'm working as hard as I can to try to grow it, so every like and subscribe really means a lot to me. I got two more in the last few days, and it really helps, so y'all keep that coming if you can, and take care of each other. Stay safe and healthy out there, and, uh, God bless you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.